Soyuz TMA-7 Russian, Suztima-7 was a transport mission for portions of the International Space Station ISS Expedition 12 crew launched October 1, 2005. The flight delivered ISS Commander William MacArthur and ISS Flight Engineer Valerie Tokarev to the station to replace Expedition 11 crew members. Spaceflight participant Gregory Olson joined the TMA-7 crew for the ascent and docking with the ISS, spent approximately eight days aboard conducting experiments, then returned to Earth with the outgoing members of Expedition 11 aboard Soyuz TMA-6. MacArthur and Tokarev were joined on their return trip to Earth by flight engineer Marcos Pontes who launched aboard Soyuz TMA-8 and spent approximately seven days aboard the ISS conducting experiments for the Brazilian Space Agency. Peru. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic. Docking with ISS Docked to ISS, October 3, 2005, 527 Coordinated Universal Time to PIR's module Undocked from ISS, November 18, 2005, 846 Coordinated Universal Time from PIR's module Docked to ISS, November 18, 2005, 9:05 Coordinated Universal Time to Nadir Port of Zaria. Undocked from ISS, March 20, 2006, 6:49 Coordinated Universal Time from Nadir Port of Zaria. Docked to ISS, March 20, 2006, 711 Coordinated Universal Time to aft port of Zvezda. Undocked from ISS, April 8, 2006, 2028 Coordinated Universal Time from aft port of Zvezda. Topic: Mission Highlights. 28th manned flight to ISS flight 11S Soyuz TMA7 is a Soyuz spacecraft which has been launched on October 1, 2005 by a Soyuz FG rocket from Baikonur Cosmodrome the spacecraft carried two members of the Expedition 12 crew to the International Space Station, together with the space tourist Gregory Olson. They replaced the Expedition 11 crew, Commander Sergei Krikalev and John Phillips. The last member of the original Expedition 12 crew, Thomas Ryder finally launched in July 2006 on STS-121. Owing to shuttle mechanical and weather delays, he was forced to move to Expedition 13. This was the last flight which is covered by the 1996 balance agreement that required the Russians to provide 11 Soyuz spacecraft to ferry joint U.S.-Russian crews to and from the International Space Station. Further Soyuz flights needed a renegotiation between NASA and its Russian counterpart, and a modification of the Iran Nonproliferation Act of 2000. Topic. See also Pictures and narrative of launch